Hey everyone, welcome. It's your boy Ooch, and I'm definitely trying to fake this freaking attitude right now because you know the obvious. Ah, uh, your boy already got spoiled and everything. But of course, we are back again, once again. How y'all doing today? All right, so the fake chipperness is out of the way. I had to start the video off uh, like that. And I'm sure a lot of folks that might be watching me now that may be new are probably like cringing. They probably clicked off the video already at this point, but that's okay because uh, I'm actually going to start this off very differently from how I usually start my videos with a little bit of real talk. Now, guys, and girls and everyone around that literally watch me have supported me for the years they know that i have been basically very authentic very genuine and a part of my whole spiel and shtick here and it's not even just a shtick it's literally just how i am in life in general and i've bled that into all of my content creation i'm a real one i keep it very real and a part of that realism is my reactions and a lot of people know me for my reactions as a matter of fact my dragon ball super reaction Actions are probably why the majority of you are here right now. So let me just get my uh, thanks out there to all of you guys that are still here supporting and everything. But before I read this chapter 87, I just wanted to make it very abundantly clear for those that may not follow me on Twitter, for those that may not have seen any of my posts or are in my Discord chatting with us about this as it is, that I am very, very fed up with this fandom. I'm very fed up with how this series as a whole is even treated and taken care of from all the way up to the tippity top at that dragon ball room over in toei shueisha bird studio for all the way down to this level where it's literally just us the fans trying to just be entertained by this series but the funny thing is and this is not even new but it has finally become the straw that has broken my back. And I am that camel that is really just fed up with having to feel like I have to now cover spoilers. And when I say spoilers, I'm not even referring to the draft pages that come out a week prior to the chapter's release. See, those are official releases. If it's done by them and it's just a preview and it's draft pages, like I'm talking like this is basically like sketches at this rate. This is not like anything finite where all the art is completely fleshed out and everything. This is something that is totally okay. But the what I'm not okay with is when somehow these images of really important parts of said chapters or whatever the case is for this situation get put out there and spoiled for not just everybody but for people like me that I want to share my my experience, my first time experience, my reaction with you all. That is literally the basis of this sort of content. And when that gets infringed upon, not only does it piss me off, but it ruins the entirety of what could have been for the videos that I am producing for you guys. And you know, I naturally enjoy doing this, but I'm putting this out there right now that I am enjoying it way less. The fact that I have to worry about looking here or not looking there, it's just like in order for me to truly not be spoiled on anything is if I a basically just quit doing this, right? If I, if I wasn't a content creator or if I just didn't care enough, if I wasn't as passionate about this, I wouldn't give a shit. I literally wouldn't get, I wouldn't even be saying this right now. And honestly, I'm glad that I'm saying this now, a few days after I, of course, originally got spoiled because it doesn't matter if you put DBS spoilers on your, your tweets, you can even filter those out so that you don't even see them on Twitter, but that doesn't prevent you from not seeing everything else that people post without that spoiler tag. Or if I'm going to YouTube and there you go, other creators are posting videos about what happens. It's unavoidable. And for me to completely avoid it, I'd have to basically remove myself from all these things. And that's just very, very unrealistic. And I'm obviously not going to quit because we've come this far. And I'm not about to, I'm not about to do that to you guys. So 
yeah, I figured I'd at least say my piece and say that I'm very, very, very upset. And I do know, like, the one big surprise that is uh, that comes out of this chapter. So I guess that's just your little bit of notice going into this. Um, and yeah, I like I said, I'm I'm really upset that it, it's bad enough that I felt like I had to watch the superhero movie when it got put online and subbed by fans because I felt like, well, if I don't, it's gonna get spoiled for me anyway. And literally, had I not have made that decision, the literally hours after we finished watching it, it got spoiled. Like like straight up, like people were spoiling it, and I was just like. Well, I'm glad we watched it because I at least was able to preserve my own first time experience, even though I wasn't obviously able to do a reaction for it. But that's besides the point. Now it's trickling into things that are regular, like the manga. So I don't know. I feel like I have to cover spoilers now, which I don't I never planned on doing. But if uh, that is something that you guys are interested in seeing from me. But it's not like you're going to get the reaction of it because it'll literally be like, oh, I see it. I'm not on camera, but here's a video. Like, I don't know. Like, the only way for that to really work for you guys to really see my first time is if the spoilers didn't exist and we all just waited like normal fucking human beings to for the chapter to come out. And then we, you know, respectfully talk about it in ways where you could talk about it with other people. I mean, I have a whole spoiler channel in my own Discord for that exact reason, but I'm probably just one out of the million of other people that really don't care, and they're just going to try to jump the gun and try to, you know, be the first person to say something, reveal it, spoil it for others, whatever. So with all that said, let's finally get right into it. Okay, so at chapter 87, the universe's strongest appears. Hmm, interesting. Our training wasn't enough in the end. What a pathetic victor, or what a pathetic victory, never again. I'll hone my technique until I can prove myself superior to you, says Vegeta. Goku says, me, lose to you, not gonna happen. Funny you say that, go watch a superhero movie, but oh, right. Granola, oh no, he's like coughing up blood and shit, oh no, he's like puking. Did they intentionally keep all of these like draft lines on th in the art, like... I still see all these lines. Like that's really weird. What's wrong? He's like, I'm, I'm fine. But just did that final attack really take that much out of you? And he goes, Yeah, it's a move fueled by my very life. I'm betting it shortened my lifespan even more. What? Goku says. Vegeta says, Oh no, I only have three years left to live. That was granola. That was the price I paid to become the strongest in the universe. So the whole three years thing, that was actually something that um, you guys in the comments were reminding me of, I think, on the Full Power Podcast. So shout outs to you guys that did that, um, because I totally forgot that it was a three years. Uh, it brought it down to three years his lifespan for when he made the wish. Goku says, huh? Why'd you go and do a crazy thing like that? I suppose the same applies to gas, said Vegeta. Granola says, probably, though I don't know how many years he's been left with. And then Manito says, Granola, let me look at your wounds. Manito tries to do the healing. He's so he's kind of surprised and he's like, huh? Manito's like, and then Goku's like, what's up? Did you use your powers too much and now you can't heal? And then Granola says, it's fine. Don't knock yourself out. I'll heal on my own in time. And then Manito's like, that isn't it. Actually, I'm feeling like I could bring you back to full strength. Okay, uh, Manito with the with the random boost. Okay, so Goku says, "Hmm," and then Manito's like, "Ha!" Ah. And then Granola is like, back on his feet, and he's like, "How?" And then, well, did Goku just turn on his freaking Ultra Instinct, Survival Instinct? He's like, "Whoa!" Did Manito just heal everybody? Like, what the hell is going on here? Vegeta's like, "It's true. My energy is restored." <laughs> Manito says. Who would have thought my powers would ripen at this age? Maybe from all the healing I've done lately. Oh, that's great, <laughs> says Goku. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> all right, cool. Like, sure. All right. I wish I could have used this full healing power sooner. Ha ha ha. It is what it is, says Goku. Elix says, 
How was I so off the mark? The universe is strongest. What a total scam. The joke's on me for trusting in those Dragon Balls. Also, now he's, now he's, uh, now he's flaming the Dragon Balls. All right, so Elix says, open the hatch. We're getting out of here, stat. So he, run, he, he jumps off. Vegeta says, look, he's fleeing on his own. And Goku says, hey, Elix, you're leaving your family behind? And Elix says, shut up. There's no time to lose. Besides, any minute now, gas is going to. And then this is where Manito gets shot. And this is literally where, whoa. Oh, my God. Oh, so it was, it was gas that shot him. Oh my god, I hope he doesn't really die Because that, that would suck Manito literally was like, you know A cool character throughout this entire arc So they look and then there he is All look, ooh, He's like all ugly and everything Gas, but how? No more interest in revenge Is that what you said, Granola? What the hell? How about now? Still sticking to that soft-hearted claim? Yeah, this is what happens when you let him live. And he goes rushing to Manito. And then Vegeta's like, that little. And they instantly power up. So Ultra Ego, Survival Ultra Instinct. And they, oh, he made them butt heads. It looks like he's still maintaining his strength over them. And, oh, they get some hits in, though, on gas. That's good. Nice action. Take this. Ooh. I see the freaking Kamehameha and Gallic Gun. Uh, they're, they're loading it up, but... Gas shoots a humongous beam at them before they can even unleash it. And he duffs them. Oh, my God. Holy crap. Dude, Goku and Vegeta, they just got healed, and they're still getting washed by this freaking zombie form of freaking gas right now. He dove right into his own energy blast. It's like he doesn't even care about taking damage. Sheer madness. It's like fighting something already dead. Yeah, that yeah, that is kind of crazy. And then Manito, you can't die, says freaking Granola. Manito says, it's fine, Granola. My life should have ended 40 years ago. My only duty since then was raising you right, but you don't need me anymore. Of course I need you, he says. He says, thank you, Granola. Spending the last of my long years with you was more than I could have asked for. No, don't give up. I can't let you die. I won't let you die. Damn, Manito is, is, the, is the person that's going to be dying this arc? That's crazy. So the action it continues. Oh, my God. Did Goku, like, kick his part of his, like, freaking bicep off? Oh, my God. He's, like, deteriorating. He's literally like a zombie. Goku says, how's that arm of his... Still even moving. Vegeta's like, it's like a curse. Curse to be the universe's strongest. Wow. So even in death, low-key. I mean, he's not. I don't think he's really dead. But even in this state, he's still considered the strongest. That's really crazy. Elix says, yes. Good. Here we go. Get them. Go on, gas. You'll be the strongest of all right up until the second you die. Kill them. Kill. Kill. Oh, and then here comes the the one chick. I forget her name. Oil? I don't know. So I, don't, I forget her name. Quit it, Elik. Look at him. This isn't normal. Let's get out of here. This is a battle we can put off winning. Oh, my God. He, like, bitch slaps her. He goes, shut up. Back slap. Back smacks. I told you there won't be a next time. Gas's lifespan is about to run out. Making him far and away the strongest in the universe meant sacrificing that much of his life. Oh, and he heard him. Gas says, what? Huh? I'm dying? And then she says, Elik, that's messed up. And then he puts Goku down, and he looks at his reflection in the water, <laughs> and he goes, my face, why? And he looks like, stop screwing around, Gas. Kill them now, quick. At least make yourself useful to me in your final moments, you worthless scum. Oh, my God. What a shit guy. Waste any more time, and before we know it, he's gonna... Oh, so just like that... Fr I can't believe it. Frieza, after all this time... <laughs> Yo. 
you know, like I said, even though I got spoiled on Frieza even being here, he dropped in like a fucking. <laughs> that's so sick. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, yo, that's crazy. He just shows up out of nowhere. It's been some time, Gas. And the guy's like, uh, uh, uh. And Goku's like, Frieza, why is he here? And yo, you could tell Goku senses some crazy shit because he's got like those little swirlies going around his face. Oh man, like that's actually, ew, this is exciting. I understand you have some business with me. What might that be? And he's like, I'm, I'm. And then Gas goes, I'm gonna kill you. And oh shit, yo, he rushes that, he rushes that Frieza. Oh! He takes him out. He, oh, he freaking puts his whole shit through his freaking abdomen. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yo, is he. Yo, he. Yo, gas literally deteriorates. Yo, yeah, 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 yeah. Nah, nah, nah. Tell, tell me Frieza did some destroyer shit with that, with that blow. Because I noticed he kind of powered up when he did it too. And Gas is literally like a skeleton. Like, he's dead, dead. And he crushes... Oh, my God. He really killed him. Bro. Frieza goes, Elik, you're the one who contacted me. So, once again, I ask, what is your business with me? Oh, shit. I see who the strongest in the universe is now, I think. Right? I think. Uh, and then Elik goes, um... And Vegeta's like, guess was he just in one blow? <laughs> and Goku's like, no way. Frieza's like, unless you had a legitimate reason for summoning me, you're going to be quite sorry you did. <laughs> oh, yeah. Elix says, we got our wires crossed. That's all. No business deal today, I'm afraid. We're so very sorry. Frieza goes, crossed wires? Hmm. Let me guess, you meant to have Gas kill me. I have bad news for you then. It looks like Gas is dust in the wind. Bones to dust, ashes to the wind! Excuse me? Frieza literally goes right up to Elik and he says, I've known all about your ambitions these past 40 years. I knew, and I let you scurry around, all while exploiting you for my army's benefit. No way, you knew. Oh, Frieza, oh man, this is actually OD. This is like the coolest I've ever seen Frieza, to be honest. Why, there isn't a single thing in this universe I'm not privy to. For example, the fact that the weakest of the heaters is you. Oh! And she goes, huh? And he feels like, that's enough. He tried to punch Frieza. Frieza, of course, caught that, John. Oh! Yo! No, 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 no. Yo, Frieza is killing motherfuckers left and right! Oh my god, Elix done! He literally evaporated him. Oh my god. Goku's like, Frieza! How'd you manage to kill Gas? And Frieza's like, why? If it isn't you two, it seems the gang's all here. How, you ask? Vegeta says, Gas had become the strongest warrior in the universe. By all rights, he should have been far stronger than you. <laughs> oh, shit. Frieza says, in this universe, you mean? Ah, of course. Yo, get out of here. I've been spending some time in another... <gasps> what? Nah, nah. What are you talking about? Another dimension? Nah, bro. What is... Nah, nah, nah. Okay, okay. The, okay, this is crazy. I can't even... I can't even believe this is happening right now. Frieza goes, I've been spending some time in another dimension, you see. So perhaps I wasn't being counted as part of this universe... Bro, tell me Frieza has his own hyperbolic time chamber. Tell me Frieza has his own hyperbolic freaking time chamber. Goku says, what other dimension? And then Frieza's like, on one of my many conquered worlds, I happen to come across a chamber where time flows differently. <laughs> 
okay, okay, this chapter's OD. I got spoiled, but motherfuck, that shit, this is, this is, okay, 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 okay. Time flows differently than in the outside world. And Vegeta goes, a room of spirit in time. That's it. There it is. Frieza goes, there, I was able to squeeze in 10 years. <laughs> oh, my God. 10 years worth of training. Oh, shit. And Vegeta's like, it can't be. Vegeta, yo, Frieza goes, I couldn't very. <laughs> oh, my God. I, okay. This chapter saved the entire arc. I'm not even gonna lie. This this one chapter up to page 33 is saved the entire fucking arc. I'm gonna say that right now. I couldn't very well keep losing to Saiyans my whole life. So I needed a bit of power up. A power up? Oh, 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 oh. oh here he is. Black Frieza. So he's not platinum. I don't even care. I don't even care. He looks fucking amazing. He looks amazing. Achieving this form took plenty of toil. I'll have you know. <laughs> They're freaking out. <laughs> Goku just said, no way. <laughs> so they power up. I don't think this shit is going to mean anything. <laughs> and fucking Frieza destroys the two of them. This is the image that I got spoiled on right here in the corner. He goes right through them. And they're definitely powered. They're powered down. Yup. Frieza powers back down to his. <laughs> I should, we should just call this his new base form because his 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 final form has been his base form ever since he's been he, he came back. Like, you know that that's that much is crazy. And there goes the Frieza ship. Frieza goes. While you two were having fun on this puny planet, I managed to surpass you. And he goes, but I came here in pursuit of a different target. So I'll let you off easy today. Wow. He was, wait a minute. He said he was in pursuit of a different target. Is he on the way to Vampa? I, I, of course I had to ask that question. Frieza goes, you two. And he's talking to the Elix. He goes, other oh, the, oh, the heaters. He goes, you wouldn't happen to have any plans after all this. As it happens, my ship could use a cook and waiter. Oh, okay. Yeah, recruiting. Nice. Well, we'll take the jobs, please and thanks. And Frieza goes, Granny smiles. Follow me. Yes, sir. And they are off. And Vegeta and Goku wake up. Because protagonist powers. And then, is Manito going to make it? It's bad. He's not breathing. Wait, what? And he just finally, and he just wakes up. Oh! It's Whis, huh? And then Manito's like, and then Goku says, "It's Whis." I, I literally just said that. Whis goes, "This one seemed to be a friend of yours, Goku. So just this once, as a special favor." Wow, thanks, Whis. <sighs> you know they're not supposed to get involved, right? They're not supposed to get involved anyway. Um, I see it's finally over. And Goku's like, "Ha ha ha ha!" And then uh, he says, "It was a little too close for comfort this time." And then Manato goes, who's this? And then Vegeta goes, Whis, an angel. And then Manato's like, an angel? Whis is like, might I ask the two of you to return with me straight away? Lord Beerus can't figure out how to make instant yakisoba. <laughs> uh, 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 sure. Vegeta goes, pour boiling water into it. Done. <laughs> uh, and Goku says, do you want to train with us on Lord Beerus' planet, Granola? And then Granola goes, I'll have to decline. I've made a mess of this planet. I need to fix the damage with the Dragon Balls. And Minato goes, that's right. Then I'll seal them away for good. Minato says, this planet doesn't need them anymore. And Goku's like, okay, that's a shame, but it's your choice. And he's like, in that case, you'll be wanting this. So then he passes the uh, scouter to Granola. Granola goes, what is it? And he's like, the radar Maki dropped earlier. It will trivialize your search for the dragon balls that'll help for sure thanks goku says guess we're headed out vegeta and then uh manito goes hang on son of bardock you can't forget this and he gives goku his dad's scouter but okay this is weird because in the reflection he sees bardock but like I don't know if Goku actually can see it, but 
he probably sees i don't know like i i maybe no no he remembers him now yeah no 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 he he must look at that and then see his reflection see his dad's reflection in there when he looks at himself because he now remembers his past so that okay that does actually make sense that's actually kind of cool and goku smiles so he has like a little memento of his dad that's really cool and then Whis goes well shall we and goku says yeah and then goku's like see you around granola manito and uh, Granola's like, thanks for everything, Son Goku and Vegeta. And Vegeta says, come visit Earth if the urge hits to do battle with a Saiyan. I welcome the challenge. And Manito says, sure, but I'll be sure to win any time. And he's like, that's a good attitude. And then Whis says, off we go then. Farewell, new friends. So they're off. And they're going straight to, planet, to Beerus Planet. And Goku's like, you know, the whole how you know how the Oracle Fish mentioned the strongest warrior in the universe? They're bringing this up again. Vegeta goes, Was it talking actually what was it talking actually this is a typo. It has to be. This makes no sense. Was it talking actually talking about Frieza? And then we says, hmm, perhaps. Or maybe the strongest warrior emerged elsewhere in our universe. And they say, really? Great, I guess I'd better get back to training. Wonderful, I expect you to put in the effort. After we dine in on instant yakisoba, that is. And it ends with a message saying, Dragon Ball Super will be taking a break for a bit to prepare for the next arc. And there you have it. Okay. Now granted, and I'm like I said in the beginning of the video, I, I like to keep things very real. I will admit that I didn't expect for this chapter to be such a fucking banger. Okay, like I I really was I guess I don't yeah, I was impressed. I was impressed with what they were able to do. Um and the direction the story is now seemingly taking. Now, here's the thing. They're taking a month off. So let me just say this first. They're taking a month off to prepare for the next arc. So that means September is not gonna have an, a chapter. October is when it returns. Will we finally get to where we need to freaking be? Okay, because obviously at this point, End of Z is gonna get retconned altogether. It, this, this much has already been kind of established. The way it's gonna end is going to, I mean, end as in like tie the knot with this 10 year gap is, probably going to be severely retconned and honestly now that i'm thinking about it i wouldn't even be surprised if they even had a little insert moment where they kind of fast forward past it so it's not like they even confirm nor deny that they definitely did fucking change everything within this whole 10 year skip so that they can go to end of z and past it and what I mean by that is they basically like during the next arc when it starts, they have like one of those like flash forward moments where like imagine like an announcer being like last time on Dragon Ball Z and you missed this or you missed that. Right. Except this time it'll be like like after the, the, the battle with with gas and, you know, the encounter with Frieza, um, like time passed and there was a tournament and all this crap. Right. And they even they could even throw in the superhero moments, right? Where you know Gohan and Piccolo was doing this and all that, and they they could have all of that take place, right? So the funny thing now is that we're now left with a lot of things to look forward to. I feel like at this point Frieza is now the best again. Like he is the biggest threat once more, and this is because he literally after the encounter with broly he was not having that shit no more okay and the fact that we teased that the strongest in the universe right like the person that the oracle fish saw out and that they were talking about literally beerus thought it was goku when he went super saiyan god clearly that wasn't the case we've thought on the full power podcast that maybe it's gogeta because once they're fused you know who knows like if beer because beerus has never seen gogeta in person so we don't know how beerus would feel if he felt their presence as gogeta as one you know super strong being but now that we says oh maybe it was someone else somewhere like you know something someone else somewhere 
uh, something else, uh, someone else in the universe somewhere else, right? I think it could be Broly. It could be Broly. It could be. It really could be. I mean, I mean. So I'm really excited. I'm actually really excited to see how this plays out next, not next month, but, you know, next arc. And um, it's really dope that, dude, I can't feel Frieza. I mean, even though it's like, you know, it's Frieza again, but like, come on, like, that's fire. Like, dude, Black Frieza, I was not expecting that. We have Goku Black, and now we got Frieza Black, but they're not calling it Frieza Black, they're calling it Black Frieza. Black Frieza actually rolls off the tongue a little bit easier. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, actually, I'm actually happy that I was still able to enjoy this chapter very much, even though I was spoiled on Frieza's transformation pretty much, and Frieza just being literally thrown in this arc as as he did or as he was um but yeah i mean we're gonna talk more on the on, on the full power podcast once that time comes so look forward to that new episodes will start dropping on mondays now rather than fridays so make sure you guys are sub to the full power podcast channel in addition to liking sharing and subscribing on this video and this channel make sure you guys are taking care of yourselves may the power protect you keep it locked loaded right here on this channel stay safe stay clean stay inside i'll see you guys next time.